Okay, Ross. So let's see. Continue. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a continuation of telecommunication. Uh, last class we did about the mode of transmission, how the signal is transmitted, how the signal was transmitted. Today's life is the wire pair, coaxial cable. Uh, the best is optic fiber, and in the air they use two type. Either they use a radio link or micro microwave link. Eh? Microwave link is better than radio link because of what? It, it add in high frequency. Therefore, uh, the, the, the area is going to be conveniently small and it has a big bandwidth. Okay, a big bandwidth means it can carry lots of information. Okay, lots of information means uh, it can carry videos with HD videos, 4K videos. Uh, yeah, I think uh, microwave is possible. Eh? Okay, so today what you're going to learn is, okay, we're going to talk about how the signal, how the signal done some, something called modulation. Okay, principle of modulation you're going to discuss. Then later we're going to discuss digital communication. Okay, why digital is better than analog. Okay, okay first let's we talk about principle of modulation. Okay. Okay, everyone can see the slide, right? So this, hi, can I? Okay. So you see this diagram, this picture. Uh, this tells uh, how you are the transmitter. The first part A. Uh, you are the transmitter. You are talking to your friend. Your friend can listen. He is a receiver. It's a short range, uh, maybe uh, ten meter, uh, maybe or maybe twenty meter. You have shout at him, then he can listen. But it's not like one kilometer away. Uh, so transmitter receiver. So later we want to talk in a, maybe a long distance, maybe a few 10 meters away, 50 meters, then we use a microphone connected to a loudspeaker for a greater distance. Maybe in the hall, at the stage you are staying at the stage, but the speaker is placed at the one corner of the building. So about few 10 meters, we can, we can send your signal, your sound signal. Then later for one kilometer, maybe for the part, a few hundred meters, eh? the part, they said we can use a microphone. Microphone, what is the function of microphone? Changing sound to electrical signal. The electrical signal later will be add through the air and your friend somewhere, maybe 100 meter away, maybe in like a tennis college, maybe one in the building A, another one maybe at the, maybe at the building, uh, what do you call, at the, the, the first building at the main, main block. So you can receive the sound signal, which is add into a, into, his, into a loudspeaker amplifier, will amplify the signal. Then the loudspeaker will change the electrical signal to sound, so hear it, okay? So in all communication, there will be a transmitter and receiver, no doubt about that. As technology advances, the transmitter receiver get further apart, okay? Uh, influential signal through antenna as they are, then all of that received just okay. So now the problem we face is the part C is is workable if only one type of only one communication take place at the at one at, at the moment at the at the at the place lah. Eh? I say A want to talk to B with this this technique, and C want to talk to D at the same place, then interference will happen. Okay. Uh, the A send a signal, and uh, and the guy, the pers person A produces a sound of uh, how many hertz we can produce? Maybe up to uh, we can sense twenty to twenty thousand hertz. Uh, maybe your voice you can produce up to five thousand hertz. Let's say so. This person produces a sound of a range from twenty to five thousand hertz from A reaching B, and C also is another human being. He also produces the same frequency. 20 to 5,000 hertz. When these two signals eh, overlapped, then what happened? Uh, interference happened. Then the two signals will be mixed up. So when the person B eh, open up is a uh, walkie-talkie, maybe let's say, these two sound eh, will be mixed up. He can't listen the A and he can't listen the source from the C. So interference happens. Why interference happens? What is, why the interference happens? Because those those who are same type, same type of wave, and they are, they have the same frequency, same frequencies. Then uh, what do you call? 
the mixing can happen okay so what the technology said okay because the frequency produced by each human being is around uh, same frequencies if you air it interference is going to happen so therefore what they said we need to have different frequencies we need to have different frequencies when a send a signal maybe one frequency we want c when send a signal a different frequency so to avoid uh, interference so how this achieve they said okay let the radio wave carry the the sound information so technology decided that we let the radio wave carry our our signals the signals can be in form of sound can be in form of uh, video picture okay so carry our signals information assign different radio wave band transmit various information and they send out receive the amplitude modulator and frequency modulator signals so this will come later for time being why the radio wave is used so that every source of signal every source of uh, signal have a different frequencies okay so that's where the term am fm arised okay am fm is called the signal that we receive are either amplitude modulated or we say frequency modulated okay amplitude modulated frequency modulated okay uh, what is meant by modulation okay first of all why you need to do modulation so that to prevent interference between one signal to another therefore many people can can talk at the same time uh, that's why they do modulation okay so what is modulation okay that's the main part of this today's lesson eh? what is modulation modulation is is the first point okay the model first point look at the first point here okay okay this is the first one eh? modulation is the process where one signal is added onto another carrier signal uh, it's called modulation you see in this diagram the first signal is the information signal your sound you are saying hello you are singing a song so this is a signal uh, this is a signal and the uh, first one the first one on top here this is your this is your uh, carrier carrier signal uh, carrier signal is your radio wave uh, could be radio could be microwave uh, depend okay microwave uh, without labeling it you should identify which is carrier which is signal you know okay because radio wave has a very high frequency compared to the sound you can make you can make sound up to 20000 hertz right can make up to 20000 hertz but radio wave uh, uh, radio wave you know is is a uh, very high frequency one compared to sound so a short period will lead to radio wave uh, the one frequently happen is a radio wave the one with a greater period is signal okay remember eh? okay so the carry wave as much higher frequency than the information signal okay sorry okay now because this two are sinusoidal because they are in a sine wave we take it as a sine wave first la eh? it follows this formula i believe this formula many times repeated in many topics uh, the in shm also you have repeated this formula okay in see what you call in alternating current also you have repeated this formula because current also displays a sinusoidal pattern so if sinusoidal x equals to x not sin omega t x not is the peak uh, the peak value and omega t is you know the omega is the angle of frequency okay, okay. amplitude modulation uh, what is meant by amplitude modulation amplitude modulation important you need to remember amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier wave is made to vary in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal this is a two mark question eh? two mark question they will ask in exam what is meant by amplitude modulation amplitude modulation am eh? short form the amplitude of the carrier you know the carrier here this is the carrier originally the carrier was like this uh, unmodulated the height is the same 
Okay. Then what happened? The signal was embedded onto the carrier. So the carrier pattern, the surface, right? Going to take the shape of the signal. It take the shape of the signal. You see, that take the shape of this is your signal, signal, signal pattern. Okay. So amplitude modulation is amplitude of the carrier. The carrier, this is your carrier, the carrier. Uh, wave is very in synchrony. Synchrony means the same pattern as the displacement of the information signal. Information signal. Uh, this is called amplitude modulation. Okay. So AM, uh, AM is a radio wave which carries a signal on its on its uh, amplitude. On its amplitude, it carries the information here. Okay. So yeah, this amplitude modulation. Frequency modulation, frequency modulation, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, frequency. Hold on, yeah. yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier. Uh, I see the carrier. Huh? The carrier frequency, yeah. The carrier frequency is made to vary synchrony with the displacement of the information signal. So the carrier, right, is going to change its frequency to embed its information. Okay. Let's say the signal, eh, this is zero volt. Eh, this let's say zero volt. Let's say it has a maximum of five volt. Okay, five volt. Eh? So in the carrier. Eh, Maybe originally it has a frequency, maybe it has, a, let's say, 20,000, uh, 20, bigger. Uh, this one is bigger frequency. Let's say it's as a 100, uh, 100, 1 million hertz. Eh? Let's say it has a 1 million hertz. Okay. This 5 volt, I put it easier. Okay, I put it easier. Maybe, let's say this has a 500 hertz, uh, just to understand. Okay. If this signal has a five volt, okay, uh, the there is a one value will be given to you. You'll say one volt uh, will change the frequency like maybe uh, fifty hertz. They'll give a value, fifty hertz per volt of variation. They will tell you this information. That means what happened when the signal gained five volt, come to five volt. The frequency, right? The frequency at this moment, uh, original frequency, how much? 500 hertz, right? The the frequency at this moment become 500 plus one volt. How many frequency going to change? 50 hertz. So because it's five volt, it's going to be five times 50. So it's right 250 hertz will be added. So the frequency at this point will be 750 hertz. So the frequency here. At this region, eh, at this region will be 750 hertz. Okay, it will be 750 hertz. When the voltage here drop to here, at the bottom, bottom, let's say it's negative 5 volt, uh, negative 5 volt, the frequency will drop. Negative 5 volt, each volt, the frequency change by 50 hertz, let's say. So the original frequency, how much? 500 hertz. Negative 5 volt means 500 hertz minus. 250 because 5 times 50, 250. So the frequency dropped to the frequency dropped how much? 250 hertz. It become 250 hertz. So so the signal become one volt. The frequency to rise by 50 hertz. Rise by 50. The original frequency is uh, 5,500. Uh, let's say uh, if the signal become one volt, the frequency change to 550. The signal become two volt. It becomes 600 volt. So frequency going to change. Frequency going to change, carry the signal. And this is called frequency modulation, FM. Okay. What is frequency modulation? The frequency of the carrier wave is made to vary in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal. Ah. So this is FM. So you have two types. Earlier one is what? AM, amplitude modulation. Second one is FM. Frequency modulation. Okay. So which is good? Which is bad? Both there is a good and bad. 
Okay, that's what we're going to discuss. Okay, first one example to tend to understand the FM. Okay, okay, look at this one example. Okay, this example is about FM. This is about FM. Okay, this this question is about FM. It's about FM. Okay, a sinusoidal carrier wave has a frequency of eight hundred kilohertz. Yes, sir. Eight hundred kilohertz. This is your carrier. Eh? This is your carrier. Your radio wave. Eh? And amplitude is five volt. Okay, the carrier has the carrier has a uh, amplitude of five volt. Okay, five volt. Okay, the frequency deviation of the carrier wave is. Uh, this is important. You see, the carrier when it changes frequency by thirty kilohertz for every volt of the signal. Okay, that is for every one volt change in displacement of the signal, the frequency modulated by a sinusoidal signal frequency. Uh, okay, so so ten kil thirty kilohertz per volt. Eh? So now the signal has a frequency of ten kilohertz, and amplitude is two volt. Oh, this signal, eh? signal has two volt. Okay, that means if I go to the earlier diagram, okay, the signal has two volt. Eh? The carrier has five volt, and carrier was eight hundred kilohertz, and the signal is how many kilohertz? Uh, signal find to be ten kilohertz. Uh, signal find to be ten kilohertz. This is the information. Okay, now the question is: Describe for the carrier wave the variation of any for the amplitude and the frequency. The modulated. Pattern of the the modulated pattern of the the signal. How is what is the amplitude? What is the frequency? Because this is FM. This is FM. So FM going to be what? So I go back. The signal and the carry added. This is going to be the final appearance. Uh, sorry, let me. Okay. So this is your signal. This is your signal. And the carrier was originally like nice. Nice uh, uniform wave, but finally this carrier tend to become like this. This is your modulated signal. Finally, modulated carrier, eh? already modulated carrier. This is how it's going to looks like. So the question asking the final modulated uh, 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 what do you call wave? What is the amplitude and what is the frequency? Uh, so that's the question about the variation of amplitude and frequency for the carrier. So first. The amplitude of the remains constant. The amplitude will be five volt. The amplitude remain constant five volt. Okay, so you you go back to the signal. The amplitude doesn't change. The amplitude of the carrier is still going to fix at five volt. Doesn't change. The signal doesn't change the the amplitude of the carrier. So the amplitude of remain constant five volt. Then how about the frequency deviation? How much frequency going to deviate? What is the voltage of the carrier? Uh, sorry, the signal. Voltage of the signal is two volt. Okay, that means what is that? The height of the signal is two volt. That means it's thirty kilohertz per volt, right? It's thirty kilohertz per volt. You know the voltage change. Sorry, that means. Uh, the the carrier going to change for every one volt it going to change to 30 kilohertz lah 30 kilohertz per volt eh? so tell me at uh, at zero volt when the voltage is zero volt that frequency here will be how much same as the carrier how much the carrier carrier frequency is how much 800 kilohertz okay so here when when the signal is zero volt here the frequency going to be 800 kilohertz. Okay. When it achieve two volt, this is two volt. When it achieve two volt, what is the frequency here going to be? Like a compression. Anyone? It's going to be 800 plus how much? Because it's two volt one. Two volt. The frequency going to change. Three thirty kilohertz per volt. So two two volt means sixty kilo volt. A uh, kilo kilohertz will be added. So the frequency at the At this point will be eight hundred sixty kilohertz. 
Okay, so 800 become 860 at the peak. How much the, the frequency going to be at the negative 2 volt? This is negative 2 volt. What is the frequency here will be? So 800 minus 60 is going to be 740 kilohertz. So 800, 0 volt, 860 for the peak voltage, and 760 going to be to the, the negative 2 volt. This is how the variation going to happen. So you see the answer here. The frequency deviation is 30 times 2 is 60 kilohertz. Therefore, the frequency going to fluctuate from 800 minus 60, the lowest point, uh, and 800 plus 60, the highest point. So the frequency going to fluctuate from 740 to 860 kilohertz. This change, okay, so understand. Uh, so you're going to change to 740, 860 on top, and down again going to be 740, 740, 860, 740, going to repeat that how many times in a second? You're going to repeat 10,000 times in a second. How do you know 10,000 times? Because the frequency of the, the frequency of the, uh, what do you call, how frequent the frequency change, how frequent this, this frequency like compression, compression happens, it depends to the frequency of the signal, uh, the frequency of the signal. If the signal as a 10, 10 kilohertz means, uh, this frequency 760, uh, 860, 760 and 860 happens uh, with the same frequency as the signal. So that's the answer. This change frequency occurs 10,000 times per second. 10,000 is actually the frequency of the signal. Okay, so this could be one structured question if it comes out in exam. This is what type of modulation? This is your frequency modulation. Okay, what is meant by frequency modulation? Frequency modulation is the frequency of the carrier wave is made to vary in synchrony with the displacement of the information signal. That is frequency modulation. Okay, all the songs you are listening now from the from the radio now is all our FM frequency modulation. Okay. All the signals of the sound has embedded into the radio wave and it embedded into the frequency change of the radio radio signal. Okay. So anyone seeing a song in the radio station, the sound has been modulated into a radio wave and that radio wave signal modulated, modulated carrier will be add, will be sent to the air. And when you open the radio, this, this carrier wave, the modulated carrier waves get into your radio and the radio as a circuit which can retrieve the sound information from this carrier. And you listen the song back from your radio. Okay, so this is modulation. What is the purpose we are doing modulation? Why we do modulation? Anyone? Why we do modulation? So that many conversation can happen at the same time at the, at the same place. That's why we do modulation, to prevent interference. If everyone talking in the same frequency, interference happens, so no communication going to be clearer. So we need to have a different frequency. To have a different frequency, you need to use a, uh, we need to use a radio wave with a different frequency. And how do you use the radio wave? We do modulations. Another benefit of sending through radio wave is what? It moves the speed of light, so the signal can reach your, your friend with the split second uh, very fast. Okay, so that's why we do modulation. Any questions so far? Guys, this is something new. Eh? So AM, FM, modulation. Eh? Okay. So advantage of sending out modulated signal. Why you need to do modulation? So I already told you this reason. Many radio stations can now transmit signal at the same time in a particular area. Okay, without interference. Yes, without interference. Each radio station is given a different carrier wave. Okay, carrier wave frequencies. The receiver adjusted or tuned to receive the desired frequency. Yes, you know, radio now in your your, your maybe in your in your car, you want to listen a different station, you have to change the frequency one. Huh? Different frequency, different signal will get into your 
resonate with your radio and you listen that sound okay if you don't like you want to go for another station different station hit fm or what so you change the frequency same as the hit fm uh, frequency then that signal will get into your radio signal you listen the sound so by this you can listen different type of uh, signals at the same time at the same place because of all modulated okay so this is the main reason eh, why we do modulation so that many radio station can operate at the same time okay next the aerial are transmitting receiving carrier frequency so need not be very long to get to the audio frequency yes another reason why you do modulation is beneficial the frequency become very high very high if the frequency is very high means eh, very high frequency means the wavelength is short the wavelength is short means i told you what the aerial eh, the aerial will get shorter it's quite convenient eh? okay so so aerial get shorter eh? that's why we do modulation we do modulation the radio wave frequency is greater than the sound frequency so the aerial get shorter two advantage why we do modulation okay okay so yes uh, this entire em spectrum but the one used for telecommunication is radio wave and of course a microwave never appeared here normally radio wave this radio wave has a limited frequencies okay so each frequencies you start by uh, few one one signal maybe maybe uh, 30 kilohertz given to one signal uh, 35 kilohertz given to another signal and so on okay so am is transmitted in a long wave bandwidth am signal is normally sent through a long wave bandwidth that means am uses a uh, short frequencies short frequencies the, the, you know long wave medium wave uh, medium wave and short wave la uh, this 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 three uh, uh used for am amplitude modulation signal okay amplitude modulation and uh, the larger frequencies is given for fm frequency modulated signal your astro all like frequency modulated okay uh, so yeah am given for uh, short frequencies there is a reason why okay am uh, purposely given short frequency so if the frequency is short compared to fm la uh, frequency is short the wavelength will be big compared to fm so the am signal really can spread really can diffract okay really can diffract so it can really can diffract uh, because wavelength is big so am signal is really good in spreading it can spread it can really can spread so better coverage so am signal is better coverage okay because really can spread why it can really can spread because its wavelength is big because frequency is short because am signal is transmitted in a low frequency band okay uh military uses am uh, military uses am because military want a good coverage okay middle of the jungle also they want to get the signal so am is the best okay low frequency but one big problem of am is it's prone to interference okay the am signal is is really exposed to interference uh, why because am carries information in where I go back eh? am carries information you embed the information in where on its displacement on the amplitude uh, the amplitude variation and the am signal is at and go to the pass from the station go to the let's say few thousand kilometers away to reach a receiver by the time it go to the receiver too many waves are overlapping interfering you know what when interference happens what property of wave change displacement 
or the frequency interference happens the interference happens the displacement change so the amplitude modulation carries the information at its, as its displacement because interference happens and going to change this displacement so the signal going to be uh, distorted and someone singing a song whatever song eh, was perfectly embedded on the am by the time we travel and reach the receiver the signal going to be carries a lot of noise in the background because it interfere with the signal and the displacement was affected so am going to be prone to uh, interference so that's the problem of am okay am really spread but the quality is bad because is information going to be affected by interference whereas fm fm signal was transmitted in vhf in a high frequency uh, relative to am high frequency means what happened to the wavelength wavelength is relatively short so what happened this signal not really spread it cannot spread fm signal cannot spread so therefore when go to hilly places eh, and go to hilly places like maybe cameron island or something eh, the fm signal difficult to reach your receiver because it can't really spread so how to avoid it the company must build more stations nearby so that better transmission eh? so fm cannot really spread so one minus but the plus of fm is it has a big bandwidth oh, the bandwidth is big given a big bandwidth that means it can carry a lot of information therefore the quality of the signal carried is good maybe a hd video can be carried by fm okay so fm short quality signal but can't spread that is fm okay so that is am and fm any question so far okay let me continue okay so this is uh, something tricky part here eh? okay side bands and bandwidth okay side bands and bandwidth when a radio station involve putting a audio frequency information much higher frequency than electromagnetic wave the process produces a frequency which are sum and difference of the carrier and information signal frequencies uh, these frequency are called side bands it's called side bands so what this first paragraph trying to tell okay for this to understand what is meant by side bands i show you uh, one uh, note from uh, a book eh? what is meant by side band i want to clarify what is meant by side bands okay so so i want to show what is meant by side bands eh? you see amplitude modulation eh? the signal can have a formula of sign like this okay this is a signal formula the signal may be your sound as a height of amplitude of signal and 2 pi f is omega and f is the frequency of the signal and yc is your formula for carrier if amplitude modulation this amplitude will be added into the carrier like this like this you see the formula this is a modulated formula the carrier this this is the carrier you see the as sin 2 pi ft okay this is the carrier okay it's a carrier la eh? sorry so the carrier was added here Okay, this is your carrier. Oh, sorry, this is your signal. Eh? Okay, your signal. 
So signal has been added into the displacement of the carrier. This you see the carrier, the carrier, the amplitude has been the, the signal has been added into the displacement of the carrier. So this complex formula later will be rearranged to this, like this. Uh, so the wave, right, the modulated wave will have three amplitude, uh, will have three, uh, three uh, trigonometry formula. One as a frequency of Fc, the frequency is Fc, with the amplitude of Ac, okay, Ac. Another two formula was as a frequency of Fc minus Fs, okay. Another one will have a, a frequency of Fc plus Fs. And their amplitude will be half AS, half AS, okay, amplitude of the signal. So the modulated signal has three frequencies. The first frequency is only FC. FC maybe, let's say, is 8,800, let's say, 800 kilohertz, 800 kilohertz, okay, 800 kilohertz. Uh, the signal may be, let's say, 50 kilohertz. Uh, the signal, let's say, is 50 kilohertz. The lowest can go is 800 minus 50. So it will be 750, 750 kilohertz. And the highest can go is 800 plus 50. So it will go 850 kilohertz. Ah, the actual carrier frequency is 800 kilohertz. But it has another two signal follow at the side, which the frequency is 750 and 850. Uh, these two frequency with a certain amplitude, these two are called sidebands. These are the sidebands. These two are sidebands. Okay. This shows that the modulated carrier wave has three components. The original wave has this FC frequency with the amplitude A. The other two as a frequency Fc minus Fs, Fc plus Fs. And uh, these two called sidebands. These are sidebands, uh, sorry. Sidebands. Why not accurate? Uh. Okay, so this is the frequency differences. Uh. In exam, they won't ask you this derivation. Okay, I go back. So you see this slide again. You look at the first training. The radio transmission involves putting an audio frequency information on a much higher frequency electromagnetic carrier wave. The one adding the formula I show you just now. This process produces a frequency which are the sum and the difference of the carrier and information signal frequency. Sum, Fc plus Fm, sum. Difference, Fc minus Fm. Fm is the, the signal information. Huh? Uh, the book stated FS just now, yeah, FM, eh? modulated frequency. Uh, these two call sidebands. Okay. And you see the amplitude here, the amplitude FC is A, and the amplitude for the sidebands is half A, half A, half of the FC. And this is how the amplitude modulation looks like. This is called energy spectrum. So sidebands, we call it sidebands. Eh? Okay. These frequencies are called sidebands. So in exam, if they ask for sidebands, means uh, just Fc plus Fm, Fc minus Fm is called sidebands. Okay. So yes, the difference between the two sidebands is called bandwidth. Uh, so now you understand. The difference between these two sidebands is called bandwidth. Okay. So what is bandwidth? From sideband to another sideband, uh, how much is the frequency? Is your bandwidth. Okay. Let's say the original one is 800. Uh, this, let's say, 750. And this, let's say, 850. Uh, so the side, so the bandwidth is how much? 850 minus 750. The bandwidth is 100 kilohertz. Uh, the differences in the sideband is bandwidth. Okay. Your point here. Because of the existence of sideband, the frequency range of the bandwidth necessary for the radio transmission depends on the range of modulated frequency. Yes. If this sideband is quite away, 
we say the bandwidth is big. And bandwidth is big means it can carry more information. Big, different frequency of information can carry. This is called sidebands, eh? sidebands and bandwidth. Okay. So for one example, what I taught you just now, a particular transmitter broadcasting an AM signal, frequency is 200 kilohertz. Okay. So this 200 kilohertz is what? What is this 200 kilohertz? This 200 kilohertz is your, your FC, your carrier frequency. Eh? The transmitter is broadcasting a program music with a maximum frequency of 4.5 kilohertz. Uh, this is your, your FM, the maximum, the signal frequency, 4.5 kilohertz. Okay, determine for this AM signal, the wavelength. Wavelength is easier, 200 kilohertz. Speed divided by the frequency will give you the wavelength, it's 1,500 meter. Okay, then find the bandwidth. Okay, what is the bandwidth? The bandwidth is, you know, the spectrum is like this, long, short, and short. So how the graph going to be? Okay, how the graph going to be? This energy spectrum. The center going to be what the frequency? For this case, center going to be 200 kilohertz. The side going to be 204.5 kilohertz. And the lowest going to be what? 195.5 kilohertz. So what is the bandwidth? This is your bandwidth. The bandwidth is the 4.5 times 2. So 4.5 times 2. This is your bandwidth, 9 kilohertz. Okay, so bandwidth 9 kilohertz, maximum frequency you can carry is half of the bandwidth, 4.5 kilohertz. Okay, so if a sound signal want to carry by using this signal, this, this, this carrier, bandwidth of 9 kilohertz, the maximum frequency you can carry is 4.5 kilohertz. That means if you want, if a human can make a sound of, let's say, 10 kilohertz, let's say, 10 kilohertz, you can make you can make a sound of 10 kilohertz means uh, this signal this this carrier is not enough to carry a uh, 10 kilohertz of sound signal because all maximum signal you can carry the frequency can carry is 4.5 kilohertz so the am signal is not going to be quality uh, maximum frequency can carry is only 4.5 because the bandwidth is only 9 kilohertz okay you want to carry a 10 kilohertz of signal the bandwidth must be at least how much? Two times of this frequency. The bandwidth must be 20 kilohertz. Then you can carry the signal frequency of 10 kilohertz. Uh, that is the idea here. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Number of radio station. If an AM radio station broadcasts in a milli, uh, mega, uh, what do you call, medium wave, which occupies a frequency of 300 kilos, 3 megahertz of the EM spectrum, how many AM stations of bandwidth 9 kilohertz can be placed in this range? How many radio stations could share this medium, uh, medium wave, wave band? So, 3 megahertz is 3,000 kilohertz minus 300 kilohertz. The range of frequency is actually 2,700 kilohertz divided by 9 kilohertz. 300 AM station can fill this frequency. Okay. That means maybe 300 to 309 will take one station. Station A, maybe F, uh, heat FM may be given to this frequency. 309 to uh, another 9 added. So 318. This, this frequency, this range of frequency given to another, another uh, FM station and so on. Another AM station, this all are AM, eh? AM stations. So about 300 signals can be transmitted in this frequency band. Okay, the bandwidth if it's nine, nine kilohertz. Okay, so now tell me, if the bandwidth is big means eh, the number of stations become what? If bandwidth is big means uh, 
the number of station can packed into this frequency will be get lower. So FM signal as a big bandwidth, you know. AM signal as a smaller bandwidth, only nine kilohertz. So AM signal, a lots of signal of AM can be carried for that that wave band. If FM means uh, one FM, I think as a bandwidth of, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 270, 270. So this divide by 270, the number of FM station will be lower. Okay. So yes. So if you have lots of FM station means the, the number of FM station will be get lower because it's bandwidth is big. Okay, guys, so lots of information for today. Uh -huh. So another two slides, then we stop. Okay, understand about the sidebands and bandwidth. Uh -huh. So if they give a graph like this, this could be power versus frequency. Uh, this is called power spectrum uh, or can cause energy spectrum. If you have this kind of a graph means this is an AM signal. Okay, this is AM signal. Remember, eh? if they give three lines, power versus frequency means this is AM signal. So these two is called sidebands. These are the sidebands, as I told you. Uh, this 50 is the carrier. Uh, the 50 is the carrier frequency. Okay, this is the carrier frequency. Okay, let's redo this question. State the name of the type of modulation of the radio signal. This is a AM, this is a AM signal. Only AM signal will have a sidebands. Eh? FM also have sidebands, it's very complex. AM has a fixed sidebands. Eh? The component of the frequency 50 kilohertz. What this 50 kilohertz stand for? This 50 kilohertz is actually the carrier frequency. Okay, the 50 kilohertz is the carrier frequency. Okay, and next, what is the component of the 45 and 55 stands for? 45 and 55 are sidebands. They are sidebands, okay? So next, state the bandwidth of radio signal. Bandwidth means the width, uh, the width here. The bandwidth is two times of the sidebands. Uh, so 55 minus 45, uh, so bandwidth is 10. So 10 kilohertz, uh, the bandwidth is 10 kilohertz. Okay, so I add one question here. What is the maximum frequency signal you can carry? If bandwidth 10 kilohertz means the maximum frequency you can carry is only five kilohertz. Okay, the maximum, the signal, if you, have, you are say, singing, let's say the signal getting very highly frequency, if the frequency has exceed, if the frequency is less than five kilohertz, uh, you can use this carrier and send the signal properly. If the sound you make is more than five kilohertz, maybe seven kilohertz, uh, this, this carrier is not suitable. This carrier only can carry up to five kilohertz. Okay. Yeah. So part C, part C on the axis 10.2, sketch the graph to show the variation of the time with the signal voltage. Okay. Uh, see what type of graph they said is the carrier is 50 hertz and the maximum frequency carry is uh, 5 kilohertz. So here sketch the general shape. Okay. The, we need to draw this, this uh, what do you call the, the amp amplitude modulation. Okay. Amplitude modulation. Okay. So the big shape, the big shape is going to be signal it's going to be signal the signal has a big period the signal will have a big period okay uh, you know the am modulation you go to the diagram am modulation uh, this is the am from here to here uh, this is the period of the signal Okay, the crest to crest, 
the small shorter one is the period of the carrier okay the big one from here the lowest to the lowest here this is period of a signal okay now the question asking you to draw this pattern we want you to draw this pattern okay go back the pattern they ask you to draw is this pattern so this pattern you need to find the period of the signal first the big one is the period of the signal what is the period of the signal what is the frequency of the signal you can carry 5 kilohertz and uh, the frequency of the signal is how much the frequency of the signal is 5 kilohertz then what is the period of the signal so speed of light divided by uh, sorry period of signal is 1 over f line on our app so the period of the the modulating waveform the, the carrier waveform uh, the, the period of the modulating waveform the signal should be 200 hertz 200 microsecond so 1 over 5 1 over what 1 over 5 kilohertz and eh? 1 over 5000 hertz and eh? 1 over 5000 hertz and uh, sorry 1 over 5000 hertz another one for the carrier will be what 1 over what of what is the carrier frequency carrier frequency is 50 kilohertz so the period of the carrier will be 1 over 50000 hertz so carrier period will be one of 50000 hertz will lead you 20 hertz 20 microsecond sorry 20 microsecond so the big wave will go from 0 to from 0 to from 0 to uh for the the big the signal one lad 0 to 200 will go to 0 to 200 eh so this is the pattern going to be uh, 0 to 200 and uh the signal the, the carrier will have 20 microsecond so the oscillation will be 20 microsecond it will be like this 20 so this like getting bigger 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 like this this how you need to trace it eh? and getting shorter 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 and finally stop here uh, this is your part c okay to draw this am signal the signal voltage versus the uh, the time this is the pattern the, the biggest period this is your biggest period the greatest period is the period of the signal eh? signal it carry from one over the frequency of the signal and the shorter period is for the carrier which you get it from one over the frequency of the carrier so you get this pattern okay class so i know it's taxing today so what you learn today about modulation okay why modulation is required to many many uh, communication can happen at the same time without interfering we need to do modulation how many type of modulation am and fm okay frequency modulation embedded on the frequency change amplitude modulation embedded on the amplitude change and uh, this is the question for fm and uh, side bands am as a side bands and uh, the graph going to be like this so this is your am graph okay am graph so if you see this pattern it's a am signal okay class so times up Uh, think about this uh, tomorrow we will be continuing with this la uh, i put the video you try to look at it and you read first to understand better okay any questions okay i stop here i know you have many questions go and read this uh, go and view this video back and try to enhance the idea so on, tomorrow i we try to understand better uh, Okay. Yeah, stop here. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Thank you.